Hi everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. I'm Gavin Bailey and I'm going to present Digital Bookmark for seamless switching between printed and electronic books. The work is a collaboration between myself, Deepak Sahu and Matt Jones of the Fit Lab at Swansea University in the UK. Let's firstly look at the modern reader. The modern reader has access to multiple different formats, including ebooks, audiobooks, and traditional printed books. Each format has its own advantages. Ebooks allow readers to access millions of books instantly. Audiobooks allow readers to listen to a book whilst getting along with another task. And then printed books give different experiences to the reader depending on the book size, the book weight, and the cover of the book. In our previous work, we noticed a trend where readers are beginning to own books in multiple formats. And also, they are beginning to own copies of the same book over multiple formats. For example, a reader may own a copy of Moby Dick in both ebook and printed book formats. Reading a book over multiple formats introduces the problem of synchronization. It's not a problem with digital books, as features such as Amazon's WhisperSync allows synchronization between audiobooks and ebooks. The problem presents itself when the reader wishes to use digital formats and traditional printed formats. In order to discover the true scale of multi-format reading, we distributed an online scoping survey. The survey looked at what format of books each participant owned, if they owned books in multiple formats, and what format they preferred to use. During our survey, we discovered that 50 of our participants stated that they owned copies of the same book in multiple formats. The 50 participants who stated that they owned a copy of the same book over multiple formats were separated into two groups, single format readers and multi-format readers. A single format reader is a person who reads a book from start to finish within a single format, while a multi-format reader is a person who reads a book from start to finish while switching between formats. Multi-format readers were asked about their method of keeping digital and printed books synchronised, while single format readers were asked about why they chose not to switch, even though they owned the book over multiple formats. Based on both quantitative and qualitative data from our scoping survey, we came up with the digital bookmark scenario. Participants stated that they like to read a different format of book depending on their current situation. For example, participants liked to read physical books whilst in the comfort of their own home, sitting on a sofa or a chair. But whilst on their daily commute to work or on holiday, they would choose to read a digital book as it's more convenient and easier to carry. However, this introduced the problem of keeping digital books and printed books synchronised, where most participants stated that they used a memory uh, method where they would remember a, an event within the book and then try to find it in the opposing format when continuing to read. To make this scenario easier for multi-format readers, we came up with the digital bookmark concept. The digital bookmark would be placed inside a printed book, which would then communicate with the server, letting the reader's digital devices know what page they currently sit. When reading on a digital device, they would also communicate with the server which would then communicate with the digital bookmark, displaying to the reader what page to be on. To discover the difficulty of the problem, we devised a format switching study. We recruited 10 multi-format reader participants from our scoping surveys. Each participant brought along with them a printed book and their e-reader device containing the same book. Each participant completed a pre-study questionnaire. The researcher and participant generated a list of 10 events from within the book, which would be found later on as part of the task. The researcher would call out a format, for example, ebook, and an event, and allow the participant to find it and familiarise themselves with it. The researcher would then ask the participant to find the event in the opposite format. Following the tasks, each participant completed a NASA TLX assessment. The main measurement of the task was switch time. We define switch time as the time it takes for a participant to transition from one format to another. Whilst switching to printed books, the average time was 79 seconds, while switching to ebooks, the average time was 62 seconds. During each session and after via videos, 
the switch technique of each participant was analysed. The switch technique to printed books resembled that of a binary search, where the book was opened to a page that the participant felt was within the general area of the event. For example, if they felt the event was halfway through the book, they would open the book, open at the centre, and then analyse what is currently happening within that page, and then feel whether they need to go forward or backwards within the book. This binary search like technique would continue until the event was found. While well, switching to ebook, a similar technique was used where they would use the features of the ebook, such as a slider, to open a book halfway through. Seven participants were quite skilled with ebooks and were able to use search functions, which resulted in a less binary search like technique. During the task, we also recorded the number of glances each participant made. We define a glance as a participant actively reading a page to discover the events going on. While switching to print, the average number of glances was 17, and while switching to ebook, the average number of glances was 11. Following the tasks, each participant was asked to perform a NASA TLX assessment. These can be found in further detail within the paper. As you can see from the current slide, all results, apart from physical demand, wielded high workload scores. Following the results of our scoping survey and format switching study, we decided that the problem was widespread enough and difficult enough to warrant the development of a digital bookmark prototype. The prototype was made using shop-bought components, including a Raspberry Pi Zero W, which allowed connection to the internet to synchronize page numbers, and an e-ink display to display to the reader what page they should resume reading on. The bookmark contains a series of SIM card readers which make contact to an electronic tag which represents the page number the bookmark is currently sitting in. To synchronise each page between digital and printed formats, the progress is served, saved to a server. The bookmark sends and receives the page number via Wi-Fi. Page markers are injected into the e-book version of a book via a script which paginates the digital book to the same parameters of the printed book. Following the prototype's development, we devised a digital bookmark study, where we recruited 10 participants, where each participant completed a pre-study questionnaire. We generated 10 random locations within the book, and the researcher again would call out a location and allow the participant to read it. The participant would then use the digital bookmark system to find the location in the opposite format and verify. At the end of the study, each participant completed a NASA TLX assessment. Similarly to our format switching study, the main measurement was switch time, where this time the average switch time to printed books was 8.92 seconds, and the average switch time to ebooks was 2.3 seconds. Whilst using the digital bookmark system, the switch technique differed greatly. While switching to printed books, Participants used a flick-like technique, where a thumb would be placed at the edge of a book, and the pages were flicked whilst they read each page number as it was passing them. While switching to ebook, no technique was required, as the digital bookmark system instantly presented the reader with the correct page. The digital bookmark allowed the number of glances to be dropped considerably, with the average while switching to print dropping to 11, and the number of glances while switching to ebook always being one. Again, at the end of a task, each participant was asked to complete a NASA TLX assessment, where this time each score is on the lower end of the scale. The development of the digital bookmark system followed a user centered design approach, however, in its current implementation, it is not ideal. The conductive tagging of books is time-consuming, expensive, and excludes all existing books in circulation. For future work, we recommend using optical character recognition, as this will allow all existing books to be used within the system. In conclusion, we present a scoping survey, which highlights the scale of the multi-format reading issue. We performed a format switching study to discover the difficulty of the task. Developed a prototype digital bookmark to seamlessly synchronise printed and electronic books and put that through a user study to discover its effectiveness. Thank you for listening to this talk.
please read our paper for more details.